Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a closer look at the uh, large heavy rocket SSTO that I built, or more closely, closer to an SSTR, or SSRT, SSTR, what the hell is that? Anyway, I think I'm going to name this guy the Hercules. Someone uh, put a name up there for Hercules for the other craft file in the comments. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. It's like four o'clock in the morning, but we're going to make this guy an interplanetary SSTO. It's going to need to stop and get some fuel, obviously. It's not one of those around the solar system in one go without refueling, Ooh, but no. Definitely going to need to stop at a gas station. So to make this work, we're going to make it uh, the XO4A right now. We're going to take the cargo bay and we're going to turn it into a fuel processing plant with extra fuel. This is definitely going to make it a little lighter. Let's see, 2,800. Okay. And we're going to take it. Oh my gosh. I just... F okay. Yeah. I forgot that this thing is... Um, its root part is the core of it. Hmm. Now, someone said that the root... If you put the root part, uh, which is like the middle first, uh, on a cargo bay, then anything you attach to it is not going to matter. It's still going to create a whole lot of drag as if... There was no nose. I actually want to test that. Let's go ahead and test that real quick. Okay, so now I'm going to make the core part the very tippity top of the of the spacecraft. Let's see if that changes anything. All right, and go. So it stops at 43 seconds. 689. 43 seconds at 689,000 apoapsis. All right, we got our uh, <clears throat> cargo bay, and we're just gonna go ahead and start building a real quick, easy rocket that goes straight up. Make sure it's as make sure it is as aerodynamic as possible. Aerodynamic with the root part uh, for uh, is the cargo bay, and we'll go ahead and time that sucker on the way up. All right, we ran out of gas at 43 seconds, and our apoapsis site is identical, 689. So I'm not seeing a bug. I'm definitely not seeing a drag bug. If there was a drag bug to where if you use the root part, um, as if, you, if, <laughs> if you use the cargo bay as a root part and then attach everything to it, I was told in the comments that it'll act as if there was nothing attached to the front and it'll create tremendous drag. However, both of these tests, one with the root part as the cargo bay and one without the root part as cargo bay, are identical. So if there was any significant amount of drag at all, they would not be identical. There would be some sort of, uh, the numbers would be different in some way. The numbers would be different in some way. It'd probably have the same type of burn time, but my apoapsis would be like lower. So yeah, I'm gonna probably call that busted. All right, so we've got to turn this thing into a uh, mining SSTO in order to uh, make it out to the solar system and beyond kind of thing. Uh, that, mm, ha, he, ha, ho, ha. Wheel mining means we gotta flip this bad boy around. Oh no! Hmm. I, I mean, I, I think it's possible. Uh huh. Let's try that. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, no. Yes. Maybe. Did it work? Did it work? Did I do a thing? Did I make it happen? Okay. Yo, where's it, Harry? Well, that would be a monkey's uncle. Hmm. I think it worked. You know, um, this is just this is just paranoid me. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this little tiny little guy, you know. No, it's not. It's not that I don't. Uh, it's not that I don't um, have faith uh, in in the uh, um, uh, attachment points of this thing. Uh, it's it's just a um, it's just a uh, precaution. Yeah, just a very uh, legit precaution. Uh, yeah, something very teeny tiny. Can't really notice it unless you really look hard for it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and save that as the XO4A, also known as the Hercules. Hercules, yeah. All right, so we're going to take it and flip it, and we're going to make a little mining thing out of this when I come back from work. But that'll be only for like a split second for you guys. Editing magic, go. Okay, uh, I am back from work. A little tired, so let's go ahead and get this straightened out, shall we? Now, in order to make this thing work, we're going to have to drill for fuel because it is a rocket SSTO 
or closer to an SSRT, but take that out. Not exactly super duper fuel efficient, but still a wonderful little challenge, nevertheless. Hmm. Okay, take that and I'll flip it around. It's better. We're gonna need as much space as we can get out of this thing. Four tons, huh? I think I'll, I think I'll actually put this up front. Uh, hello? Now, yes, I could technically make a smaller one, but I don't feel like sitting there for a million years. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't feel like it. All right, so we're going to make this one. Oh, well, yeah, that's all we need. really need. Okay. So it's going to suck up the ore, and the ore is going to go in here, and it's going to be turned into fuel right off the bat. So that works. That works, too. The dual... Hmm. A dual mining extractor. Yeah. Looks kind of nice, too. All right, that's all I need for fuel, actually. Uh, say for a lot of power. Okay, we're going to have to figure out a way to make that power. Oh, dear. It's poking out. I didn't want it to poke out. Mm -hmm. Okay, does it poke out when I close it? No, we're good. Okay, good. So, power. Um, That's not going to work, though. Because when they start turning around, it's going to look kind of like this. They're going to be clipped into each other. It's going to look really ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, I guess I could go off of these. Mm, that could work. How are, they, how, how are these things with aerodynamic forces being shoved on them? Hmm. Would it be better if I made some sort of contraption that came out from the bottom? Hmm. I don't know. It's uh, possible it could work. But I guess we'll never know until we actually try, huh? I don't like how it clips into the wing when it does that. So we're going to take that off. Alright, that one's fine. Okay, so we can't just land anywhere and get fuel. We need to actually go through the proper chain here, and that is... Okay, so we can't just land... Okay, so we can't just land anywhere and get fuel. We have to actually go through the proper course of action, and that is to actually look for the ore. Alright, I think, I think we're good. We've got a place for a Kerbal. I think I'm just gonna have one Kerbal. Maybe two. Because he's gonna be in here for years and years and years. That's gonna be a long time. So I wanna make sure he has plenty of room, plenty of food, plenty of space to walk around. And of course he's got this nice large uh, fuel making machine. Uh, that's gonna be very helpful. In making gas quickly and of course we got plenty of power sitting there for them so uh, we also need to get some sort of form of like I said before a way to find the ore game glitch in three two one glitch. holy sh that is a bug if you click it inside here, it deletes it. I'm so glad I saved that, right? Good golly, Miss Molly. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Yep. Save religiously, people. I am. I, I cannot stress that enough. Not with this game. That works. That works. So that comes out and that does its thing. We figure out where the uh, ore is. And it retracts back in. Oh, shoot. And then, hmm. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then this deploys through it. Okay. Uh, can we move this out of the way? Yeah, but well, that yeah, that might that might be too much. And then suddenly it's hitting the ground. Deploy. It'd definitely be out of the way. But damn. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Um. Maybe. Maybe we do this. 
So it's deployed, right? And, but when we land, we can have it move out of the way. Just enough. That works. We'll just have to manually toggle the hinge in order to uh, uh, look for the ore. All right, got a cute little thing going on in there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Put this on here just so it can find higher concentrations of ore as we kind of roll around on the surface for a little while. Can work. I uh, should have known. Uh, well, hold on. We got lots of room. We can take this actually and have it come down by a lot. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that works. All right. Launching in three, two, one, zero. Whoa. Whoa, what's with the laser show? Oh my gosh. That's new. Holy crap. Okay. 927 meters per second, so it really didn't help us a whole lot by adding those extra fuel tanks. In, in some instances, I would say it even hurt us a little bit. 927 meters per second. Well, unfortunately, I'm all out of time right now, but I think in the next episode, we'll figure out how to get, uh, how to make the sucker into interplanetary. Just you wait. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Share, like, and subscribe. Please. Pretty please. Thank you.